Well guys, in this video I want to talk about how to uh, use horizontal mapping and also how to cut those um, polygons to add details to them. Uh, in the past we've just simply made separate objects for um, I'll show you, this is, you're obviously looking at Bristol there in 3ds Max. This is a picture that I took uh, when I visited. You know, adding details like the world's fastest half mile and the Food City logo and you know there's logos on all the other uh, suites you know around Bristol. How do you use horizontal repetition without making a gigantic texture with that exact amount of number of windows on it while still being able to add details such as that text up there or you know different logos and whatnot. Uh, so I wanted to go over a way that you can use both in one object and a single texture and I'll show you the texture here. Sorry I didn't have it loaded but <clears throat> you know this is a typical papyrus texture where it has you know the windows and this has obviously been repainted uh, at least the window section and the logo section. Um, you know, you've got different areas for the logo cutouts, and then you've got the horizontal uh, repetition for the windows. So, if we take a look here, uh, go into this suites object here. Uh, I've got this alignment box here. Uh, just counted the number of windows on either side of it, and I've got the box lined up where that logo should be. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is show you the uh, how it's unwrapped right now before we get started. So I'll go ahead and pull the texture up. And we'll go ahead and tile it. And you can kind of see, you know, where the windows are, how that gets, you know, stretched out horizontally. That's the way Papyrus did everything. Um, you know, you can, you can make a flat texture and it, it would be a huge texture. So... This is just another way to get the same thing done. How do I get that logo right here? That's what I want to cover. Uh, we'll convert that back to poly. I want to be in uh, editable poly, polygon selection there. I want to go down to cut. I want to turn on snaps. And I want to turn on snap to edge segment toggle. And I'm going to go right over to here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's white, but that the edge right there turns yellow when I have the box on it. So I'm going to click, left click there on that. I'm going to try to draw a straight vertical line. After I do that, after I cut it, I just right click to end the cutting process. Right click again to deselect the cutting over here. Uh, zoom out and let's zoom over to this side and do the same thing. So you can really see how this tool this cut and snap to edge segment toggle really comes in handy for something like this. Uh, you could do boolean cutting with a box. Um, it's really unnecessary, really. Uh, right click to end cutting. I'm going to select that polygon. This is very important. I'm going to select that polygon. I'm going to click detach. I'm going to detach it to an element. And what that does is it breaks those four uh, vertices that we just basically created f from everything else. So now when I convert it back to poly, add the unwrap modifier, and select that face, open the editor again, make sure the texture is selected. You'll notice it's selected right here in the middle of that repetition. Now what I can do is grab it and move it, and everything else will stay where it was. So now I can take that and move it over here. Obviously, this isn't painted perfectly either, but just kind of doing this quickly. So 
So now we have that face that we cut out right there moved over to a separate area of the texture while the rest of it is still using horizontal repetition. Now if we go over here, hide the alignment box, zoom out a little bit, and turn the edge faces off. And see we end up with that perfect detail exactly where we wanted it without affecting any of the repetition. You know, I'll do the same thing for that Food City logo wherever it is over here. Find the alignment based on where the windows are. Uh, you can use the seating or however you want to do it. Uh, basically just get you some alignment marks set up in the scene. Cut your polygons. Detach it to an element. Convert it back to edible poly again and apply the modifier then you can move that part that you cut out anywhere you want on your texture um, so hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit I thought that was really cool different uh, way of doing things so I'll end the video there thanks for watching